As the latest incidents of police-involved deaths of black men continue, local athlete-led protests are increasing. Football players at Aurora Central High School have announced that they will not stand for the national anthem during their first three games. The high school staff, as well as Aurora Public Schools, support the student's decision. Uh, Amy, uh, your husband is a former uh, sheriff of Weld County. You're very familiar with the, the issues that uh, our officers face every day. But as a nation, we're seeing, I mean, I'm talking with my producer this week, and we were ourselves getting confused over which incident this week we were talking about. Well, was that the one in Tulsa or the one in, in Charlotte? That's over the same week. So clearly there's something out there to talk about. As you look at all these different issues, what are your thoughts? So. I love this topic in the sense of I love having the dialogue about it. The, um, those players at Aurora, because we have a First Amendment, have a right to, do, to, to protest in this manner. Um, I think they were, uh, the administration said they respected the decision. I'm not certain I would say I respect it. I would accept it that that is their right, the First Amendment is messy, sometimes it's offensive, and I don't think it is a respectful way to show your um, displeasure with what, or, or try to raise awareness. I think it's more of a gesture. I would really like to see whether it's Colin Kaepernick or somebody else actually address real issues that are happening. We need to look at poverty, we need to look at what's happening in, in inner cities. And I, I see these as more gestures rather than actual rolling up your sleeves, getting your hands dirty, and doing the hard work of solving those problems. But God bless the First Amendment because we have a right to do it. Eric, I guess when I see high school students, I mean, it, it's, it's easy to follow a trend, but I also, it, this feels more like a movement. It's less about Colin Kaepernick or Brandon Marshall, but you're seeing more and more people bring this up and looking at the issue. And I, I respect where, where Amy's coming from, but we're seeing people like Brandon Marshall meet with police chiefs. Do you think this has the potential of creating more of a movement and less of, I guess as Amy put it, gestures or at the very least protests? Well, there clearly is a movement out there, and I think the kneeling or lack of standing during national anthems has become part of capturing that movement or a symbol of that movement, but there was a movement before that. My question on this particular issue is how do you take the protest and translate that so you don't see more incidents like Tulsa where, I mean, we'll wait for all the evidence to be in, but I don't know what evidence there could be produced that could justify that shooting. I mean, the the visuals of that, uh, the, the, the footage of that is just horrific and there's just no comprehensible way that that was a justifiable imposition on the spot of a death sentence. Charlotte, I know there's a dispute about whether they're releasing the video or not and we'll have to wait and see what that video shows, but this, you know, yes, these are isolated incidents and there's one in Tulsa and there's one in Charlotte and there's one in Staten Island and there's one in rural Texas. But, but there are so many isolated incidents that you now have a pattern. Um, I'm not one to think that you have to identify. I think we so much in this country these days run to corners. And I'm in the blue corner with the cops. Or I'm in the Black Lives Matter corner. Or I'm in the corner that says let's really focus on the violence in inner cities in Chicago and in Denver. We had a shooting right out here in front of our studio a couple weeks ago. Uh, and. It's not either or to me, it is all of the above. But with respect to this particular issue, I don't know how you translate these protests into action so you don't keep having these. It has to be a matter of policy, it has to be a matter of police culture, it has to be a matter of training, it has to be a matter of a new kind of public ethic. Penn, what's the vital next step after kneeling during an anthem? Um, the vital next step, I think this is a movement, it's a parallel to the civil rights movement. You get enough action like nonviolent protest and sitting at lunch counters and it begins to move the dial where people talk about what sort of policy changes, what sort of changes in law do we need to bring into effect to change the occurrences. I agree with Eric, twice is a pattern and there are too many unarmed black men being gunned down. Uh, kudos to the Tulsa DA for filing manslaughter charges against the police officer there. And right before we came, I saw that in Charlotte, it turns out the wife of the, the man who was shot uh, taped everything on her phone and she's released that and it shows her saying, don't shoot, he doesn't have a gun. 
and they shot him anyway. So the evidence isn't in yet. We'll see what happens. The other thing I'd say is let's keep this all in perspective because um, I was talking with a group of guys um, uh, a, a week ago, and one of the things we talked about is Jackie Robinson, um, who broke the color barrier in baseball. When he did his autobiography in 1972, one of the things he said was, I can't salute the flag or stand for or sing the national anthem because of what I went through integrating baseball. That was his way of protesting what had happened to him. Hmm. Patty, uh, it's, it's disturbing all the way around, but do you see a path to the next step? Well, I see here we're doing some good things. I think the fact that the students are doing this in Aurora is good, and I think this, that the school is supporting their First Amendment rights is good. The Aurora police chief is also doing a lot of community discussion. That should expand in the high school. They should be having more discussions of their rights, of how things work. The police are much more transparent there. In Denver, you hope to see the same thing. It would be nice to see the athletes who are kneeling and, of course, getting the lion's share of the attention to start working within the community, to start using their celebrity and their money to help get those discussions going. We saw a little bit of it with Brandon Marshall and Chief White here in Denver two weeks ago. There should be more of it.